So welcome to challenge number one. Challenge one is to animate a favorite poem, quote, or phrase. Uh, so you're going to need a few things to do this task. To have a favorite quote, choose what you want to emphasize in that quote, and then also a background image that you think uh, you would like to put the quote on. You can always use a colored background. Tech-wise, we're going to look at how we can lock an image so it doesn't get in the way, and how we can animate objects and set timers. The end goal is a clip like this. So to start off, I have my quote ready to go, a poem actually from Maya Angelou. I've already figured out what I want to emphasize, and I have my picture on my desktop just to make things a little easier for me. So as I open up Keynote, I'm going to look to create a new document. I like to use the white or the black background when I'm animating, just because I often put pictures in the background. And the format of your slides is really up to you and where you're sharing your creation. Remember, you can also create your own custom sizes, which really helps. Again, to kind of manipulate the page, I always try to zoom out on the slide so I can see the areas I'm animating. And I'm a little lazy, so I just drag the picture on to my slide so that I can manipulate it. Now if I double click on that picture, I'll be able to access the edit mask, which will just allow me to um, frame that picture frame for my slide. And Movie Magic made that a lot faster. Now having that picture selected, I'm gonna go choose a range and I can lock the picture down. Now it won't move as I add other objects to my animation. So I'm ready for the text. So after choosing the text box, I look through the fonts. I liked um, the font because it was pretty clean. I didn't want it to be too harsh, so I played with just some of those settings that show up in the format toolbar. I want creativity to stand out really boldly, so I've made that a bit bolder. And then I want the more you use, the more you have to kind of feel a bit symmetrical. So the phrases are gonna look identical except for that word at the end. And of course, I want my Angelou to really stand out, so I'm using a different font to make her name stand out. Now that I'm happy with the layout, I can get into the animations. So having an object selected, I go to my panel on the right and look for those different animation options. Even though there's three different types, we're gonna focus on the build-in today. Uh, just to keep it simple. So I love the typewriter for quotes. It brings each word up, uh, really emphasizes those sentences, a great animation when we're animating quotes. When I look at creativity, I really want it to stand out. Again, it's what I'm trying to emphasize. So there's some very special animations on the bottom. I usually steer clear of them, but I love Trace. And for this clip, it really focuses in on the creativity. If it's a little too fast, I can always tweak it. The more you use and the more you have, I want there to be some symmetry there, so I'm gonna definitely use the same animation. And one of my favorites is cube, because it rotates in. Now I wanna change that setting to top to bottom. Every animation will have its own panel there and give you the choices that are available. So I want that symmetry between the more you use and the more you have, so I'm going to have them turn into each other. One goes top to bottom, the other goes bottom to top. And Maya Angelou is, um, I kind of want a different animation, and the wipe's just too fast, so I'm going to slide over that slider to make it a bit longer. And when we check it out, It doesn't look too bad, but I'm having to hit the button to make it go. So now I want to set the timing. Animations by default are set to be by click. So I'm going to click on the bottom where it says build order and I'm able to change that to after transition. 
that sets the whole timing in motion. And really, for the most part, I'm just going after transition here. If I want there to be a little delay in between, I can uh, change that timing. Like with my Angelou's name, I want it to pop up a few seconds later. And then I don't have to hit that enter button anymore. It just automatically does all those transitions for me. My movie's ready, so I go File, Export, and choose the movie option to save it as a clip. Don't worry about self-playing, that's really just if you haven't set the times. And once I save, it lets me save anywhere I want to as a video file that I can then app smash or share easily. Hope you enjoyed the clip. Happy animating.